All right, everybody, welcome to your begin workout for today. We have a total body workout. It's about 15 minutes in length, and we're gonna take you through four strength exercises and then about two minutes of cardio activity. Uh, for today, if you do have a couple light handheld weights, so things like bottles of water, things like that, feel free to use those. I'm in a role model using a dumb, uh, set of dumbbells, but you don't have to have those. You just, nice clear space where you can move around a little bit and we'll get a great workout. All right, so just warming up. Let's just rotate those thumbs up and down. So we're just rotating those shoulders, preparing the body to work out. Perfect, nice forward circles. Not too fast, just nice and steady. All right, reversing directions. Perfect, now I'm gonna have you just do like a little lunge back, just about quarter depth, like not all the way down. And then I'll just have you turn, come back together, and then rotating out to the other side, and turn. Just working on warming up the spine and the legs, challenging our balance a little bit. And you can twist either way. Some people feel a little more coordinated, twisting into the hip that's forward. Not right or wrong. I've shown you both ways. Do what feels right to you. Perfect. Now let's reach down and reach up high. Tipping at the hip, lengthening the back of the legs, those hamstrings, and then extending all the way overhead. Perfect. Last one. There we go. Now I just want you to bring those heels up. So really focusing on contracting those hamstrings, bringing those heels right up towards your butt. And just moving back and forth a little bit, getting that heart rate up. Perfect. And then now if you want, you can step and touch and bring your arms into it. Or if you're ready, you can bring do the full jumping jack or they call it a step jack when you just step off to each side. Do what feels right for you. This will be our final movement in the warm up just to get us ready. 10 seconds. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing sets where we go for 45 excuse me, seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. Our first movement is gonna be a thruster. So it's gonna look like this, and we're gonna get started. So it's gonna be a squat down and a press overhead. Don't have to have any weight, but if you do have two objects that you're working with from home, or if you're lucky enough to have dumbbells, use those. We're gonna do 45 seconds, so it's actually quite a bit of reps. Perfect. And just squat down as far as you feel comfortable. The main thing is you want to make sure your knees aren't shooting forward to start the squat. I want you to sit down and back, and then come right back to neutral, okay? Down and back, back to neutral. Whew. 10 seconds. Well, I bet you're awake now. Okay, one last rep. Perfect, time for a rest. We're gonna repeat that one more time, then good news, you're done with that exercise. Another five seconds, get a couple good breaths in. I know that's not long, but we came here to work, so let's get to work. That's it. Keep breathing. More than halfway through. If you're getting a little tired, you can keep squatting. If you need to let go of that shoulder press, you can even keep your, uh, the hands a little farther down. But if you can, keep doing it. 
Final five seconds, see if you can give me a couple more reps. Nice job, all right, 15 seconds rest. Now we're gonna put those objects away and we're gonna come down on the ground and do some push-ups. No, don't worry, I know what you're saying, push-ups. Lots of options here, okay? And 45 seconds is a lot, so you need to pick an easy option. And here you go, so for example, tabletop, you have those knees right under the hips. If you're comfortable with those, get started with those. If you're a little ready for a little bit more of a challenge, then just come from your knees. 30 seconds to go. If at any time it becomes too much, just stop. You'd be surprised. Even a two or three second break can allow you to get a few more reps out. 15 seconds. You got this. Strong to the end. I know it's probably burning. Just means you're doing it right. Okay, 15 seconds rest. And then we're gonna do one more set of push-ups. And I promise you, we're done with push-ups for the day, so don't worry. But great, loading the chest, shoulders, triceps. Awesome exercise. Pick a set, here we go, final one. Pick a set form that you know you could execute. Good quality reps for most of the 45 seconds. I don't want you doing like, you know, from the toes, giving me two or three, and then having to take a break. We want this to be a little bit of an endurance workout. So that's why we're going for a little longer time frame than some of the other begin workouts you'll see. 20 seconds. If you need to, you can always drop to an easier option. You can get to that tabletop and you'll notice that it really reduces the amount of tension you feel in your chest versus going from the knees. Last rep. Perfect. Done with push-ups for the day, great job. Next, we're gonna take either a heavy object that you can handle with two hands, or in this case, I'm role modeling with a set of dumbbells, and we're just gonna row. So I'm gonna have you, I'll show you from the side here so you can see it. I want a nice neutral spine, meaning good curve in the back, tip of the hips, bringing those elbows back, or think of it as bringing your weight towards the midsection of your body. There you go, 30 seconds. If at any time your low back gets tired, you can just stand up for a second, shake it out, and then come back down and give me really good quality reps. You got it. Final 10 seconds, probably a little bit of a burn there now. Final five, make them count. Perfect. All right, we're gonna take a set, another 15 second break. You'll do your second set of rows. And then we have one final strength exercise for today and we'll do our cardio. All right, quickest 15 seconds ever, right? All right, here we go. Bent rows, make them count. Draw that tummy in, support your low back. Hips are down and back. And you're looking somewhere in front of you, not down at your feet. Your feet will stay there the whole time, I promise you. Gravity will do its job. I'm breathing heavy. I hope you guys are too. That just means you're working. Fifteen seconds. Like I said, if you need to stand up, shake it out for a second, and then come back and finish with some quality reps. Five seconds. Awesome, all right, take a 15 second break, and then we're gonna get into our final, final exercise. I'm gonna take it down to the floor for this one. We're gonna do a core exercise. This one here is called the McGill Hold. What I want you to do is take one knee up high. I'll do my right knee, it doesn't matter what knee. Place your hands under the arch of your back, and then I want you to come up and just get your shoulder blades off the ground. Don't tuck your chin, so the head's gonna stay out. We're gonna hold that for about an eight count. And then relax. Bring it back up. Keep breathing the whole time. Don't hold your breath. And relax. So we're just doing this pattern of engaging the abs, really feeling a great contraction, and then releasing.
All right, one final little hold. Perfect. All right, so 15 second break. We'll do that one more time. Then we'll go into our cardio to finish out the workout. This time I'll show with my left leg up high. All right, coming back down. Again, hands underneath. The reason that is, is we don't want to be pushing too hard down on these hands, so it's a good, good uh, physical cue for us to know that we're actually maintaining the curvature in our spine. Raising those shoulders up off the ground, holding, owning it, controlling it, releasing. Coming back up and releasing. There you go, 15 seconds. Almost there, team. One last one. Up there, hold it. All right, release. Perfect. Okay, so for our cardio portion today, we're going to do two minutes straight, and you'll get a one-minute rest. We're going to do 30 seconds of four different exercises, and it's all just about getting that heart rate up. I don't want this to feel like a 10 out of 10 or a maximum effort, but I want you trying. You know, something like a six or a seven is great. You know you're trying, but I want to make sure you feel like you could do more if you needed to. All right, so first exercise we're gonna start is just side to side shuffle. So just taking a few steps each way, or if you find it easier, you can just do one. Whatever gets you in a rhythm that you're moving fluid. So you can do two, you can do one, might depend how much space you have at home as well. So I'll just role model doing one each way. Five seconds. All right, all right, high knees. So you can march it. Really drive those knees up. If you're really ready for it, you can do a full run. You can bring it to that level if you want. I just make sure that's not making it feel like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. I need you to have a little bit back for the next two exercises. So heart rate up, yes. Trying, yes. But don't go too hard on me. I don't. I want you to be able to get through the next minute and a half for sure. Come on, five seconds. All right, next one's called the floor to ceiling. So you're gonna hinge, come down as far as you can, where you still have good posture, and then reach up. So it's like you're taking something from the floor and putting it up high. It's like putting the groceries away if you had ridiculously high covers. So it's a little bit of a hinge, not too much of a squat there. Five seconds. And then our final one is an inchworm. So just coming out and then coming back. Standing tall. If that's too hard, just come down on your knees, walk your hands out a little bit, and then you can even use one leg to stand and come back up, okay? 10 seconds left. Move as quickly as you can, where you know you still have good form and nothing hurts. It might be uncomfortable, Awesome, okay, you get a one minute break now. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this break with you and then show you your cool down. If you really felt like you wanted more of a workout today, re rewind back to the start of this cardio section and do it another time, okay? You can get another two minutes of cardio in there and then come join me back for the, for the cool down, okay? Whew, I'm breathing hard, I can barely talk. That's a good thing though. All right, so cool down, let's start. Just extending those hands away, opening up of the chest. We tend to slouch so much in our daily lives. This can be so helpful, just loosening everything up. All right, let's pull one arm across, get a nice stretch. Other side, same stretch.
Perfect, let's bring our right leg out in front, bring those hips back, just loading that hamstring up. If you want, you can also bring those toes toward the hip. Releasing that, let's set that up on the other side. Left leg's gonna come forward, sinking those hips back, drawing those toes back. All right, if you need to balance on something, you can do that. We'll just get a, a thigh stretch in here. Same stretch on the other side. Amazing, releasing that. Let's bring hands overhead, reaching up nice and tall, stretching through the abdominals. Just extending back overhead, looking up overhead, and then releasing that. And then give me two meaningful shoulder rolls, breathing in and breathing out. One more. Release any tension you've stored up in your back and neck, just releasing it all. Awesome, thanks for doing your begin workout with me.